sabotage, or was it an accident? No, that was intentional enough, but surprisingly there's nothing sinister about it. Merely part of the daily routine at, yes, a firework factory at Hemel Hempstead, Hertfordshire. The Big Bang was just their way of getting rid of waste because the contents of fireworks, like these Roman candles for example, are not the sort of ingredients you want lying about. Believe it or not, these dull looking discs are the brightly coloured stars you see when the Roman candle goes up. Separating each star is a fuse, while another ingredient is gunpowder to eject the stars. Notice that near the top, more gunpowder is used. That's because, and perhaps some of you know this already, there is less barrel to concentrate the explosion. Something that everyone recognises, the rainbow or Catherine wheel but few of us know that it got its name from St. Catherine of Alexandria, who was martyred by the Romans on a wheel. Nor that the art of making fireworks is called pyrotechny. And now let's meet the man who must be the envy of every schoolboy, Mr. Harry Austin, whose job it is to select and take any fireworks he likes for test purposes. Notice how deserted the background looks. That's because the factory is made up of small huts, each a specified distance from the next and separated by a blast wall. In fact, every possible safety measure is taken, both indoors and out. Together with the big waste bonfire, the tests are held at a certain time in the day so that no one could mistake them for accidental explosions. Here, such factors as performance and time intervals are carefully noted. And this is the result of their labours. The night sky lit up brilliantly like some fantastic dream world. are the Roman candles we saw being made, while this lovely effect lives up to its name, Waterfall, a spectacle that is today still unique. From spinning fireworks,